have a seat on your block. Make yourself comfy. Sit up tall. Hands can be on your lap, either palms down or palms up, your choice. Eyes closed as you inhale. Feel the breath come in through your nose. As you exhale, release the breath through your nose for a moment. Your inhale is in your diaphragm, your ribs, your chest. Exhale, breath releases to the bottom of the belly. With each inhale, let the rib cage expand laterally. At the end of this breath, eyes can open. Hands meet, heart center. With an inhale, reach up. Hands, heart center, exhale. Two more times, reach up, inhale. Hands, heart center. One more time, big reach up. Hands, heart center, bring your hands to your lap, cow cat, lift your chest as you inhale. Drop the chin, round through your spine, exhale. Do that a few times, lift up, inhale, round through your spine, exhale. One more time, big lift and round. Sit up tall, arms are by your side, right arm sweeps up, lengthen the right side of the body, so think up and then over. Switch sides, the left fingertips go up and then it's an over. We'll do this one more time on each side, arm goes up and over. Left arm, up and over. Both arms can go up. Gentle twist to the right. Let your arms come down. Take a gentle twist. Sit up tall. Fingertips go up and now off to the left. Fingertips go up. Bring your hands behind your head, open your elbows, press your head back, feel the opening, the stretch. Squeeze your elbows to the front. Open your elbows to the side. We squeeze to the front, open to the side. One more time, squeeze, open, keep it open, twist right. Gentle twist, left. Do this again. Add your twist to the right. And your twist to the left. One more time. Twist to the right. Twist to the left. Bring yourself to the front. Let your arms go down. Take a big shoulder roll. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. And now get ready and bring yourself onto your hands and knees, where we'll start with a cow cat. Set yourself up in your comfortable all fours. You drop the belly, look up. Pull the belly in, roll through your spine. 
Take a couple of these, whatever pace feels good for you. One more time. Press back into your child's pose. Let your hips go back. You choose wherever child's pose feels best for you. Bring yourself back to your hands and knees. Take a one leg out behind. We're gonna warm up our legs here. Press the heel away, drop the hip. Feel the stretch down the back of the leg. Leg is hip height. Ankle circles around. Change direction. Hip circles, bend the knee, take the leg up and around. There is your chance to move through your hip, big or small. Leg goes out to the side. Take it straight out to the side. Let the foot ground down, rock your hips back and forth. Take a few more of these. Slide the leg in. Get ready to take it to the other side. Foot goes out. Push the heel away. Make sure you're dropping the hip along the straight line here. Lift the leg, hip height, add your circles. Take it in the other direction. Bend the knee, hip circles around. Take it around. Leg goes out to the side. Rock your hips back and forth. There's your rock back and forth. One more time. Bring the leg in. Come down to your forearms. We're taking dolphin, warming up your shoulders. You can stay low. Push into your elbows, your forearms. Lift your shoulders up and away. If you want more, you tuck the toes. You lift the hips. You keep pressing into the floor. This is really to get everything starting to warm up in the shoulders, the upper back. Keep pressing down. Stay connected with your breath. One more breath here. Knees down. Child's pose. Sweep your hands back. Give yourself a nice stretch here. Let the shoulders relax. We're bringing ourselves back to our hands and knees. A little more mobility from the upper body. Take the hand behind the head. Lift the elbow to the ceiling. Inhale. Drop the elbow to the floor. Exhale. It's a lift with an inhale. Lower as you exhale. Bring it up. Bring it down. One more time. Now thread the needle, take the arm all the way under, add a little more stretch here. Bring yourself up, we'll do this on the other side. Hand is behind your head, elbow goes to the ceiling, elbow goes to the floor. Lift and lower, lift. Lower, one more time. Thread the needle, take the arm all the way under. Add your stretch here. Bring yourself up. Set yourself up for space pose. Bring your forearms down to the mat. Walk your legs away. Start with a nice space 
grounding down through your forearms, your elbows, little drag back with the elbows to lengthen the upper body. A lower down, cobra here, hands by your rib cage. Bring yourself up, maybe a little or a lot. You know what works for your body. That's where you take it. Release down. We are taking two more cobras. You're picking how high you go. Maybe you keep them a little bit smaller today. Maybe you lift a little. Once you're in your cobra, you can release down. One more time, a total of three here, wherever it feels best for you. You can bring yourself all the way down. Press yourself back. Here comes your child's pose. Bring yourself back to your hands and knees. If your block is nearby, we're gonna go into some lunging. I'm gonna use the block for my hand when I get there. One leg comes forward. So first it's your lunge. Fingertips are gonna go up. There's the stretch. Take a twist. Arms are going to go to the outside. Gentle twist here. Fingertips go up. Now bring your hand to your block. Lift the back leg. So today I want you to take the lift, hold it here, and now tap the back knee down and feel this stretch here. You're gonna lift the back leg and now tap the back leg down, pause, feel the stretch here. Here comes that lift, hold it there. And now back knee comes down. I'm going to add the twist this time. Leg goes up. If you choose, arm can open, now that's an option, you don't have to take it. Bring the arm down, knee comes down, keep the knee down, we're gonna take a twist here. So with the knee down, you can do prayer arms off to the side, add your twist. Bring it back to the center, and then we switch sides. You're gonna take it over to the other side. Start with your lunge with your reach up. That's to give you a stretch down the front of the hip, the front of the thigh. There's the fingertips up, your choice if you tuck the back toes under or not. Here's your twist. Fingertips go up. Hand is meeting your block here. Lift the back leg, lengthen. Bring the back knee down, take a little pause, stretch. Lift the back knee, pause, hold it. Bring the back knee down. Again, we lift the back leg, hold it, stretch. Set the knee down. This time you're gonna keep the leg up. Add your twist if you want it. Remember, you can keep it low. You can make it big. Bring the arm down. Set the back knee down. Here comes that twist. You're gonna come into your prayer off to the side. Bring yourself back to center. You can set your block out of the, out of the way. Hands are meeting the mat. Take a plank pose here. Set your feet up, come into your plank. Downward dog, lift your hips, press back. Here comes your plank. Pause. Hold it here. Lift your hips. This time, it is going to be a side plank. 
When you slide forward, set yourself up. I will have stepped. Staggered feet. There is your side plank. Remember, you can always use your knee. Hold it here. Return to plank. Downward dog. Now we have the other side to go. Sliding forward. Set yourself up. Hold it here. Return to plank. Downward dog. Take your full inhale, diaphragm, ribs, chest. Full exhale. Add a bend in your knees. Push your hips away. Give yourself a stretch down your spine. Legs are straight. Heels come up. Push your hips back. Heels are going towards the mat. Full inhale. Full exhale. Bend the knees. Look towards your hands. Step, walk towards your hands. Rag down when you get here. Reach for your elbows. Add a gentle twist. Hang in the center, little extra stretch. And now gently roll yourself up one vertebra at a time. Use your thighs if you'd like. Bring yourself all the way up. And we're going to meet hands, heart center. Now you can keep your heels under your hips. You can bring your feet closer together, whatever works for you. Take an inhale, reach up. Side stretch when you get here. Reach off to one side. Bring it to the center. Reach off to the other side. Bring it back to center. Take your hands to your low back. Lift your chest. Chin can go up. Big stretch for the front of the body. Half forward fold. Slide your hands to your thighs. Press your hips back. Stretch here. Hold it there. With an inhale, bring yourself up. Hands can come to your heart center. And we do that one more time. Big reach up as you inhale. Off to one side. Bring it off to the other side. Return to center. Hands go to your low back. You lift your chest. Chin taps the ceiling. Forward fold, wherever that is for you. Maybe it's halfway. Maybe you go lower. Maybe you reach towards your feet. Wherever you want to take your forward fold. With an inhale, press into your feet. Bring yourself all the way up. Hands, heart center. Triangle pose. Keep the right foot to the front. Step the left foot back. Legs are straight. And then when you're ready, go right into your triangle. Now, big lengthen. Keep it a little bit smaller if you're not all warmed up here. With an inhale, bring it up. Bring the right foot in, take the left foot out. Here's the other side. Triangle. With an inhale, bring yourself up. Take a big step back to the top of your mat. Hands, heart center. Warrior two, big step. Wherever your warrior two likes to take you, Set yourself up, think feet down, hips level. With an inhale, strain the front leg, reach up, lengthen, add a bend in the knee, come back to your warrior two. Reach up, here's your lift. We do this one more time. 
Here's your down for warrior two. Here's your left. Bring your hands to your heart center. Have your feet face forward. Take a forward fold. Big or small, wherever it works for you, give yourself a nice stretch. With an inhale, bring yourself up. And here comes warrior two facing the other direction. Settle yourself down into your warrior two. Reach up with an inhale. Warrior two is your exhale. Pause, hold it here. Reach up, inhale, lengthen. Warrior two, bring it down. One more time, we reach up, lengthen. Here's your warrior two, hold it here. Bring your hands to your hips. Straighten the leg, have your toes face forward. Hands are going to reach behind you. Lift your arms up and then forward fold. Take your arms with, reach, 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 reach. With an inhale, bring yourself all the way back up. Take a big step to the top of your mat. Hands, heart center. We have our tree pose right here. So wherever you want to practice your tree, that's where you're going to take it. Choose which leg you'd like to start with. Kickstand, high, low. Arms, wherever you want to take them today. Bring your arms down, relax your legs, shake it out, get ready to take it to the other side. First, get your balance, high or low. Hold your tree pose wherever that is today. Relax your arms down. And right here, we're gonna set ourselves up for warrior one. Right foot is gonna stay to the front. Left foot is coming back. Now choose a distance, choose a width. Fingertips go up, wherever that works really good for you. And then ground your feet down, lengthen up. Take an inhale, bring your hands behind your back because they can be fist to fist. You can reach for your elbows, front leg goes straight, pull the right hip back, here's your pyramid. And you lengthen it wherever it works for you. With an inhale, bring yourself up. Hands come to your heart center. Step to the top of your mat. And we switch sides. Here's warrior one. Right foot steps back. Left foot is forward. Once you get your feet, fingertips lift. Chest can lift up. Open, hold it here. Feel your feet ground into the mat. Take your inhale, hands are behind fist to fist, or you're gonna reach for your elbows. Pyramid, front leg straight, pull the hip back, then you add your fold. With an inhale, bring yourself all the way up. 
Hands are heart center. Step to the top of your mat. And one more time, warrior one, right foot to the front, left foot back, fingertips reach up. War, warrior three, drop your arms, shift your weight. Maybe you keep your toes down. Maybe you lift a little. Maybe you're going to take it a little bit further. Hold your warrior three. One more breath. Feet come together and heart center. Warrior one, left foot stays to the front, right foot steps back. Fingertips go up. Breath, hold connection. Warrior three, shift your weight wherever that works for you today. One more breath, feet come together, hands, heart center. We're going through our vinyasa right here. Big reach up with an inhale. Forward fold is your exhale. Half wing lift. Hands meet your mat. Walk your feet back into your plank. Hold your plank. Lower to the mat, cobra. Release your cobra down, press back child's pose. Bring yourself to your hands and knees. We're adding our crunches here. Take one arm out to the front. Take the opposite leg back. Add your elbow to your knee, bring it in. Extend it out. Crunch in, extend it out. There's your in and out. In, out, one more time. Set this side down. Prep yourself for the other side. When you're right, arm is out, leg is out. And now you add elbow to knee, extend it out. Elbow knee, extend it out. Bring it in and out, in, out, one more time. Finish that one, set the arm and leg down, downward dog, lift your hips, us back. Give yourself a stretch here, relax the neck. Feel the stretch through your legs, take your full inhale. With your exhale, knees come back to the mat. You're coming back and down to your knees. Set yourself up on the side. We're gonna do our crunches on the side from your side plank. So my knee is down, fingertips up, leg is out. Bring your elbow to your knee, extend it out. There's your in and out, in. And out, two more. One more time. Hold it out. Bring the arm and leg down. And we have the other side to go. Set yourself up. Side plank. Now we bring elbow to knee, extend out. Bring it in, extend it out. In and out, 
again one more time. Hold it out. Return to your hands and knees. Downward dog, lift your hips, press back. Take your full inhale. Full exhale, we walk our feet to our hands. Meet in a halfway lift. Once you get there, it's your halfway lift. Forward fold, reach all the way up, hands, heart center. Warrior two, keep the right foot to the front, step the left foot back. There's your warrior two, settle into the pose. So take a little peek, you have your knee over your ankle, you should be able to see your big toe, so if your knee falls in, open it up. Reverse your warrior, reach back, give yourself a nice stretch. Extended side angle, bring your forearm to your thigh, take the arm over. Warrior two, bring yourself up. And we're going into our half moon pose. That's when we balance on the front leg. I will use my wall for balance because I know that's the way this poses for me. If you want to use a block, go for it. If you don't want to lift your leg, if you're great at this pose, you're going to balance without the wall. If you're more like me, I'm going to use something for help. Take one more breath and then bring yourself all the way back up. And we're going to get ready to take our warrior two on the other side. Here's that big step. Left leg should be to the front as you take your warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Extended side angle. Warrior two, bring yourself up. And then we get ready for our half moon pose. Again, you're gonna see me use my wall because I can. And there we go. The leg comes up. Hold it here. Take one more breath. Bring your feet down. Take a half vinyasa. That's your big reach up with an inhale. Forward fold as you exhale. Halfway lift. Forward fall, reach all the way up. Hands, heart center. We're going to set ourselves up to practice our eagle pose. I'm going to have my block nearby. That way, if I want to set my toes on the block, I can, but I usually set them on the floor. You're going to start with your little chair squat. Bring yourself down. Now you always have the choice to keep both your feet down on the floor. You can bring the leg up and over if you choose. This is where you can use your block. If you wanna do that, you can set your toes on the floor. If you wanna do a full twist, go for it. And then we're gonna take our ego arms. Now that might be a hug for some of us. It might be taking it all the way up for others. Hold it here, think hips slide down. Now with a big inhale, reach all the way up. Bring your hands to heart center. Here's your chair pose, let your hips go back and then you have the choice. You can keep both your feet down. You could lift the heel. You can take it around, have your block there if you wanna use your block. Eagle arms when you're ready. And 
And then let your hips sink down. Hold it here. Stay connected with your breath. Here comes that big inhale, reach up. Hands, heart center. You're going to take the right leg behind the left. We're gonna cross our legs here. You're going to reach your arms up and take a forward fold with your legs crossed. Now you can come down halfway. That might feel best. You might go a little, a lot. If crossing your legs doesn't work for you today, you would skip it. With an inhale, bring yourself all the way up. Bring your hands to your heart center. And cross your feet. We get ready to take it to the other side. Foot goes behind, so now you're left behind your right. Fingertips reach up. Big inhale. And now it's your forward fold. Wherever that is for you today. With an inhale, bring yourself all the way up. Hands come to your heart center and cross your feet. Take a regular big inhale, feet are on the floor next to each other. Here comes your forward fold, wherever that is for you. Maybe you reach for your toes. If that works for you, your hands might be on your shins. You can always take your hands behind. Pull your chest a little closer to your thighs. Take one more breath here. With an inhale, bring yourself all the way up. Hands come to your heart center. We're gonna meet at the top of our mat, taking it to a vinyasa as we take it down to the floor. Here comes your inhale, reach up. Forward fold is your exhale. Halfway lift. Hands meet your mat. Walk your feet back. There's your plank. Hold your plank. Lower your plank down. Cobra, wherever that feels good for you today. Lower down, press yourself up and back, downward dog. Now I'm adding crunches from our downward dog. If you choose not to do crunches from here, you would be on your hands and knees and do your crunches from there. Lift one leg, that's your three-legged dog. And now you slide forward, plank, as you bring your knee to your nose and then press the leg back. Here comes knee to nose, press the leg back, one more time, and then I'm adding on, you're gonna take the leg up. Now bring the leg into your chest, and now slide it under your body, and it's across because it's your side plank. You're taking your leg up to the side, you're lifting yourself up. You hold it here. Bring the arm down. Return to your downward dog. We do this on the other side. The other leg goes up. Here comes knee to nose. Slide forward, crunch. Press it back. Here comes slide forward. And press it back. We slide forward, crunch it in, press it back. Now bring the knee in, take the leg under your body off to the side, open up, hold it here, take your inhale, take your exhale, return to your downward dog. Hand down, hips up, big stretch, 
knees down, child's pose. Give yourself a nice break right here. Wherever it feels good, give yourself a break. Maybe you add wrist circles, maybe you lift the elbows, keep your elbows down. Whatever feels good. Bring yourself all the way up right here. And we're gonna just have a seat. Now I'm comfortable kneeling. If this isn't comfortable for you, you're going to take a block and pop it under your hips. Maybe you use two blocks and you elevate your hips a little higher. So I'm going to be a little bit lower today. Then we're going to take our fingertips up. And you're going to take one hand behind. So it's your tricep stretch that we generally do. And add your stretch here. Fingertips go up, and now you take it on the other side. The other hand drops back. It's your tricep stretch on the other side. Fingertips go up, and then release them all the way back down. Now, if it works for you to get a really nice stretch down the bottoms of your feet, you would tuck your toes under. And you're gonna to try to get every toe under and it's gonna stretch the bottoms of your feet. And this is not for everybody. If your feet are super tight, it's gonna be super uncomfortable. You're gonna open your arms, give yourself a hug. It's gonna be your eagle arms, if it works. And there comes the hug here. And then we open the arms, we take it to the other side. There's your eagle arms on the other side. Focus on your breath. Open up your arms. You can relax your arms down. You can take your legs out straight in front of you. Give yourself a nice forward fold here. Wiggle your toes if your toes were getting really tight. I know it can be a big stretch. Here comes that little forward fold so you get a nice stretch. Let the stretch through the legs after being in the kneeling position. Wiggle your toes. Now bring yourself up and we're going to go into our boat pose. Set yourself up for your boat. Now that you have a boat, you can always keep your feet down. It's a little lean back. You can lift the legs, but keep the hands behind the thighs if that's what works. You could reach your fingertips up to the front. We hold it here. There's your boat pose. If you want more, fingertips go up. You could also open them to the side. Really just depends where it works for you today. Take a one more breath. And now bring your feet down, butterfly bound angle. It's your chance to stretch a little bit right here. We're bringing ourselves back up. Knees are coming up. You're going to come back into your boat pose. Feet up or down. You're going to pick what works for you. Take your hands in front. Add a little twist to one side. Bring it to center. Twist to the other side, bring it to center. There's your twist. Now remember, this is core. If you're feeling it in your low back, adjust your legs. Make sure you're up far enough. Four more here. There's four, three, two. Meet in the center, hold it. And now butterfly bound angle. Take the bottoms of your feet together. Add your little lean forward. Bring yourself up right here. And we're going to go ahead, take it down to the floor. I want to do a little bit more core work. I am going to have my strap nearby. We are going to, well, the strap is always optional, but have it nearby if you want to use it. I also have a block nearby. Carefully bring yourself down to the floor. 
And then once you're there, you're just going to be our dead bug. You're going to lift your knees up over your hips. You're going to press your hand into your thigh today. So we're going to do this isometric. So same arm, same leg is going to go out, but you're going to press your hand into your knee and your knee into your hand as you add the movement. So you're going to add more resistance. This should add on a really nice challenge for you as you press your arm, your hand, and your knee into each other. And then you take that extension out and you bring it in. There's your out and in one more time. And now we switch sides. That means isometric. You're pressing the hand into the knee, the knee into the hand, and then you take it out and bring it in. There's your out and in. Out and in. We have three more. Three, two, one more time. And we meet in a bridge. Bring your feet down. Lift your hips for your bridge. Hold the bridge. Shoot the tailbone away. Feel the stretch right here. And now march your legs. You're going to press into one foot. Keep the hips level. Lift the knee. And then you switch. Foot down. Lift. Foot down, lift. Take your time, be super intentional with the movement so you have your glutes engaged as you lift and lower, lift, lower. One more time on each side. Hold your bridge right here, really think. Shoot the tailbone away. Get that nice opening through the front of the body. Feel a little squeeze in the glutes. Hips can come down. Windshield wiper legs. Take your knees side to side. Bottoms of the feet come together. Butterfly bow dango. Use that as a nice stretch. We're going to stay here. Just a little bit, relax through the back, the hips. Hands come behind the head and we add our crunch. There is your lift and your lower. Lift and lower. Lift, lower. Lift. Low. Four. Three. Two. Now bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Take a long stretch. Reach from your fingers to your toes. We are going to roll ourselves up, bring yourself up to a seated position, whether, whatever method works for you to get there. Give yourself a little stretch, and we're going to start doing some stretching in a seated position. I'm going to face you. We're going to have a block ready to go if you want to use a block. Have your strap ready to go if you want to use a strap. We're going to start with the right leg out in front. You're bringing the left bottom of the foot into the thigh. Now, if that bothers your hips or your knee, you would set the block underneath your knee, your thigh. I'm using a strap today. I like the variation. I like to play around with it when you have a strap. You're going to sit up tall and let your chest come forward. And I want you to think, Chest towards your foot as you come forward. When you inhale, get longer through the top of your head. And then when you exhale, you sink a little bit, but it's still a lengthening. And you're going to hold the stretch here. Good. 
With an inhale, you bring yourself all the way up, and then you get ready to take it to the other side. Again, if, depending how this side feels, so I like to use a block on one side, not the other side. Hips are different, they do their own thing. Strap can go around the bottom of the foot. Now we use the strap to keep the foot straight and toes towards the ceiling. And then you add the inhale as you lengthen through the top of your head. In exhale, you sink and lengthen at the same time. One more breath. Then with an inhale, you can bring yourself all the way up. You can take your strap off the bottom of the foot. Both your feet go forward. Here comes a strap around the bottom of the feet if you want to use it. Use the strap so your toes face the ceiling and they're both straight. If your feet like to swivel, this is your chance to straighten them out. And yes, it changes the stretch. Where your feet are changes where you feel the stretch. And same idea with your breath. You lengthen through the top of your head with an inhale. You reach and sink as you exhale. With an inhale, bring yourself all the way up. You can set your strap to the side. You're going to slide the right leg in. We're taking the foot to the outside. Hug the knee, sit up really tall. Now, if you want to get, go bigger today, the hand can come behind your hips. Take the elbow around, and you can make this stretch bigger, but keep in mind, we have to lengthen through the top of your head to be able to get a bigger twist. Bring yourself to the front, extend the right leg out, bring the left leg in, start with the hug, sit up really tall, ground the hand behind you, and once you're grounded and you're tall, then you can make it a bigger twist. Bring yourself back to the front. Bottoms of the feet come together is your butterfly bound angle. Little lean forward or not. Today, we're gonna to take the bottoms of our feet. You're gonna open them up like a book. You're gonna open and look at the bottoms of your feet. Little different stretch for your hips. Bring yourself up, open your feet up nice and wide. There's your wide angle. Add a little lean forward. Maybe you bring your forearms down, maybe you don't. Think of your feet, they're flat, toes towards the ceiling. Bring yourself up, walk your hands towards your right leg. Add a little extra stretch over the right. Bring yourself to center, walk your hands over the left. Bring yourself to center, one more stretch right down the middle, wherever it feels good. Bring yourself all the way up. You're going to bring your legs in. We're gonna take you down to the floor, take the block with you, take a strap with you. We're gonna meet with our knees coming into our chest. Add those circles on your back. Make this feel good right here. Take it around. Change direction. We're gonna keep hugging one knee in, extend the other leg out. This is where we're going to use the strap. If you choose, I do this without the strap during the week. Today, though, with the strap, we give you a chance 
take the bottle of foot towards the ceiling. It gives you a chance to play around swiveling the foot. Goal is to get it flat. Hip is still relaxing down into the mat. We're opening the leg up to the side. Now do the best you can to keep your hip open to the ceiling. I like to bend my knee and open like a half butterfly to keep my hips centered. And there comes the stretch for the inner thigh. Take the leg up towards the ceiling. We're gonna take it across our midline. Chest stays open towards the ceiling. Keep the shoulders down. Bring it all back to center. Knees are gonna come into the chest. That's where you're gonna start. Extend your opposite leg out. Feel the stretch open here. Strap can go around the bottom of the foot. Use the strap to get that nice straightening of the foot. Bigger stretch for the hamstring. Leg will open up to the side. Here comes the opening to the outside. Bring the leg up, take it across your midline. Bring the leg back up to the center. You can set your strap to the side, bring both your feet down to the floor. It is your figure four. We're adding this stretch for our glutes. You can stay low. You can choose to bring it up wherever it works for you. Start bringing this side down. Take it to the other side. Ankle is over. High or low, you know what works for your body. Bring the foot down. Set your feet down on the floor, we're gonna take the block. If you choose, we're taking our feet up towards the ceiling. I'm sliding the block under my hips today. Feel free to keep your hips on the floor if you prefer that. This is an inversion. It's your chance to take your feet up. We're gonna start toes towards the ceiling and you spread your toes apart as far as you can. Wiggle them, stretch them out, have space between every toe. That includes the baby toe. Soften the toes, add some ankle circles in one direction. Ankle circles in the other direction. Pull your toes down, give yourself a stretch as you press the feet into the ceiling. Then point your toes to the ceiling. Pull your feet down. Point your toes. Do that one more time. Pull your feet down. Point. Soften. And we're going to take the legs into a V. Here's your chance. Open up to a V. And then go ahead. Flex and point your feet here. Wiggle your toes. You can spread your toes all the way apart.
bring your toes back up towards the ceiling. Now we're gonna stay here for a minute. You're gonna do whatever works for you. It could be pointing, whatever feels good. You might have your legs straight up towards the ceiling. You might have a V because that feels better. Just try to keep some movement in your toes. Just really think about getting movement every place in our body. We have 30 seconds to go. Fifteen more seconds. Whatever feels right for you here. We can start bringing our feet down to the floor. If you chose to use a block, carefully take the block out from underneath your hips. Hips come down to the mat. Windshield wiper, that's your chance. Release your hips. Let the blood flow go back through the whole body after having your legs up. Long stretch, reach from your fingers to your toes. Get everything stretched out here. Knees are coming into your chest. Hug here. Circle on your low back. Take a circle in one direction. Take a circle in the other direction. Happy baby. Let the bottoms of the feet go towards the ceiling. This is going to be our last stretch before Shavasana. If there are any other moves, stretches you would like to do, go for it. Otherwise, you're going to start setting yourself up so you can be comfortable in your shavasana. That is feet out towards the corners of your mat. Now, if that bothers your low back, you would add a bend in your knees, maybe set a little pillow underneath your knees. Arms are coming down by your side, palms up preferably to let your shoulders relax down into the mat. Let your breath go. If you want to take a big inhale and a big exhale, blow it all out so you can soften everything. Allow your body to relax into the mat. And breath goes at its own pace, its own rhythm. Feel your face, your fingers, your toes, relax, softness, lightness. Continue allowing your body to settle, sink into the mat, stay present.
Feel your body. Release any tension. Let yourself be heavy into your mat. And having some moment in your fingers and your toes. Take a deeper breath. Start adding a long stretch. Reach your arms overhead, stretch your toes away. From here, knees can come into your chest when you're ready. We bring ourselves off to the side to reconnect with your breath. From here, start bringing yourself all the way up into a comfortable seated position. We will all meet with our hands. Heart center. With an inhale, bring yourself out. Exhale, hands, heart center. Namaste. Thank you, everybody.